Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this webinar of Civil Fair Application for ANSYS Warrants. My name is Javier Carro and I'm glad to introduce you the capabilities for check and design of Civil Fair Application. First, I want to make you a brief summary of our company, Ingeciber. We have spent more than 30 years supporting and distributed finite element method uh, software. We have made a lot of consultants, software development and technical service in these years. We have a high experience in civil and, engin and mechanical engineering and also in CFD projects. During this, uh, this time, we have uh, over than 3,000 programs supplied, including commercial, university, and, and educational versions. Well, what is the Civil Fan ACT extension? This is uh, the extension that which allows users to check and design their models. This, this extension, customers who require a code check of a structure will save time and will be able to perform the check and design into the mechanical ANSYS environment. Our uh, civil fan check and design goals are for concrete uh, cells, for concrete beams and for steel beams. And the codes that have been already implemented are uh, European Eurocode 2 and Eurocode 3 for steel structures and American concrete and steel codes. If uh, anyone is interested in other codes from other any country, please contact to support at ingeciber.com to explain your, your requirements and we will see what we can do for you. In this webinar, uh, I will show you the capabilities of civil fence through an example. Uh, we have made an example of a singular building with concrete slabs, uh, steel beams and concrete beams to uh, show you all the capabilities. We are going to define materials and structural elements for the check. We are going to define the combination rules that we want to do with the single load cases and also the design uh, concrete slab by Eurocode 2 Two, and the check of the steel beams by Eurocode 3. Okay, so now let's go to ANSYS Warband to uh, see this model. I have this example with one system and with a different static structural analysis that has been made in ANSYS Warband. It's important to notice that all the model has been done and solved with ANSYS and now we are going to make the check with a civil fence, so no, it's no needed to solve again the model. First, we have to load the extension, we go to extensions, manage extensions and activate civil fence. Once we have loaded the extension, we can see that we have a new tool into the toolbox that is the check and design civil fence analysis. We just need to drag and drop this analysis to the system and open mechanical uh, ANSYS to show uh, the model and where we need to introduce the properties of civil fan. So we have the model here and we are going to, to see the different uh, analysis in ANSYS set weight, the loads, live loads, wind and wind in I direction. And finally we have the check and design analysis of civil fair. We can see the model with second cross section in the mesh and here we can see we have the concrete slabs, steel beams and concrete columns. When we have a civil fan extension loaded, we will have a new option here with civil fan. So if we click civil fan, we can see all the buttons that we have defined to introduce our properties. 
first of all, we need to create the civil fan tree, which is going to create the containers that uh, will contain the properties defined in civil fan analysis. Go to check and design analysis and create civil fan tree. And now we have to define materials, structural elements, data sets, and combination. Let's go back to the presentation and I will introduce the civil fan properties. Uh, first property that we have to define in civil fan are the materials. Uh, for civil fan check and design analysis, the user must define these materials that we need to, uh, to make the check with the code parameters. Users can select their materials from our code materials library, review its properties, and make any change needed. It's important to notice that this material defines the properties to be checked, so, but the materials for ANSI solver must be defined as usual in the engineering data of Workbench. Back to the example, uh, we will introduce a structural steel material, a concrete material, and also a reformant steel material to make the design of the concrete slabs. Uh, just clicking from create a structural steel material, Civil Fan opens the library of materials with the uh, European uh, materials and American materials. We will select, in this case, this material from Eureko 3. We add this material and also we do the same with the concrete material from Eurocode and the reinforced steel material. We have this, uh, these materials and if we want to review its properties we can go to any of, of these materials, click with the right mouse button and select modify. Then will open to a new window with these properties. We have general properties, the design diagram that uh, is the diagram that is used for the axial moment interaction diagram, and other properties specified by the uh, standard code, in this case for every code number two. Okay. Okay. The next property we need to define in civil fern are the structural elements. The structural element uh, defines the object that will be checked or designed by the civil fern extension. Uh, uh, users have to select the geometries of the mechanical model for uh, identify these structural elements. But the structural elements are also used to define specific properties of pin and cells, like reinforcement or code properties. Okay, we go back to our examples and we will create the civil fan structural elements. Um, we are going to create a structural elements for uh, some parts of the model, but we are not going to check all the model. So, for example, uh, the steel beam, we are going to uh, define a uh, First of all, we have to define the material of civil fan material that we have previously defined. So we are going to introduce our uh, structural steel material. And for geometry selection, we are going to select a one, one steel beam. So let's go to select with single select this one, for example. We apply and we have automatically defined the steel code properties. We also have a warning that is that uh, the, the section has been made with a, a cross section of mesh type. If we go to the ANSYS cross section, it's a mesh type, a Eurocode IPE. Okay, so uh, uh, Stephen doesn't know exactly which kind of section is, we must to redefine. We can do this if we go to the properties of the uh, structural element, the steel beam. We go to modify, and here we have the section that has been captured. 
this section uh, for the code check we need to define the plates of the section if we go to edit plates we see we don't have any plate so what we can do is use the library of civil friend to import this section we can go to import section and select in our uh, library the uh, the same ap so here we have the section we accept and now we will have the plates that are needed to the check so these are the properties of the plate, of these plates okay so now we have defined the, the the steel beam now we are going to define the concrete beams uh, in this case we have to define also the material the concrete material we have this one and in this case I think we are going to select more geometries because all the concrete beams are going to be uh, equals so we can uh, select the geometry uh, as we see the geometry by by type I think so we can find a lot of, a lot of geometry we can select all the columns that we have previously defined columns and this one I'm going to um, to hide all other bodies just for the selection go back to silf and concrete bin and select by box all these geometries so now we have more geometries selected in the same uh, structural elements that because uh, all the properties in these uh, sections are going to be equal now we are going to define the concrete beam reinforcement we go to modify through right uh, click bottom modify and here we have the concrete section now we are going to edit the reinforcement group in this case we are going to add a reinforcement in the phase one we select this one and create new phase Reinforcement group number one we select the material we are going to select the reinforcement steel material we have to introduce also a mechanical color we can see here the update of the uh, of the of the reinforcement we can select different phase also but now we are going to go to phase one um, and we are going to define by number of bars we are going to introduce uh, six bars with uh, with uh, this diameter for example maybe we can introduce okay uh, we are going to do the same in the bottom phase so we select add in phase three the same mechanical cover we have to define the material and also by number of bars six of twenty okay so here we have defined this uh, this uh, sorry I have introduced the mechanical cover now we have the mechanical cover and also if we don't have a we don't want bar at both ends we can uh, remove bar at both ends so that's better we can also go to this one and modify the reinforcement to don't include the bars in the ends okay so now we have defined the the reinforcement we can click ok to save the change well, I, I have forgotten to explain to you that uh, we have defined the bending reinforcement for the concrete beam, but uh, when we go to the reinforcement group, uh, we say modify reinforcement, 
we can also define reinforcement for shear and for torsion. We are not going to define uh, uh, any any ratio of reinforcement because we are going to do adjust the axial and bending check in these cases. Okay. So finally, we are going to create the cell structural elements. I select create cell, and uh, a new cell property is is open with Civil Fen. With uh, this property, we have to select the material concrete in general properties and also bending reinforcement. We have uh, this material for bending reinforcement and the mechanical cover has been introduced. I'm not going to introduce uh, uh, any ratio for reinforcement or uh, you can define also by spicing and diameters because we are going to design the required uh, reinforcement for the for the cells. So just click OK, and we need to introduce the geometry of the of the beams. I, I have created some selections. For example, the slab in the first floor. We can show the bodies, and I'm going to introduce uh, the this geometry for the structural element by name selection name selection and slabs first flow okay so here we have our three structural elements uh, with these different properties and the me uh, ANSYS mechanical geometry uh, attachment for the concrete cells also uh, we have a uh, uh, the thickness that has been taken from the thickness of the geometry of AMSIS. So we can go back to the presentation to show the next steps. The next step is to define the thiel fen combination. For defining the thiel fen combination, the, the first we have to do is define the data sets. Once we have defined the material and structural element, it's time to define the combination. Data sets are the simple state that has been solved previously in ANSYS that will be taken into account for the combination. We can use the command with fill with load cases to introduce the data sets in the container. After this, we will see the thiel fen combination uh, uh, where we can define our combination rules. Uh, well, I think it's, it's better to see with the, with the example. We go to example and uh, first we have to define the data sets. It's very easy because with a right click, we just click fill with both cases and all the previously uh, ANSYS uh, analysis will be included. Here we have the properties of uh, all the data sets that have, you can check the title of the, of the analysis, in this case F weight, the location of the results file, and uh, select the result set. We can select by default the last result set, or we can introduce by the number. In this case, uh, all the results have only one set, so it's the same number one. That the last. Okay, uh, uh, we have this included, and now we go to the combination uh, explorer window. With right click, we go to modify, and we see the combination explorer. The previously data set defined uh, are included here with cell weight, the load, live load, and wind in x direction and y direction. So what we are going to do now is to define the combination rules. We click on combinations and we can uh, start to define our first com first combination. In this case, as we have cell weight and the load uh, separated, we are going to make a combination that uh, adds both load cases. So it's going to be named as the load. It's going to be the first one 
And here we define in type the different uh, rules that we can introduce. We have many rules that I'm going to explain now. In this case, we use add. And we can see here that addition of all, all start states. The start states are the data set previously defined or combination that has been made. We have to define also the number of uh, start states that we have included. In this case, two start states. And click create. Now the, combination, the first combination, that load, is defined, but we need to introduce the start states. Just selecting self weight and dead loads and drag and drop these start states. Here we have the properties of the combination rules, that is a the different type, uh, in this case addition of all this one, and we have in the data sets the coefficient that multiplies these results. In this case, one and one. Next, well, we are going to create a, a new combination with a different uh, combination rule for the width. We can title the wind and it's going to be the second combination now we are going to select uh, the incompatible option that is uh, as maximum one start state may be selected uh, from the defines you can see that is uh, included wind in one direction or in the other direction so it's going to be two start states and we create the combination of wind with wind in x direction and wind in y direction. Finally, we are going to create a, a, a combination of a Eurocode. So we are going to title it as a C3 combination. Sorry. In this case, we are going to uh, use a combination type uh, variable with variable coefficients. That is the, uh, the combination rules for uh, most of the, of the codes. It's going to be the third combination. And we are going to introduce three start states that are going to be the first combination, the second combination, and the life loads. So we introduce uh, three starter states. In this case, we have dead load, win, and life loads. Sorry. OK. And we have to define the coefficients. Now we have to define first coefficient and second coefficient. That lot will be multiplied by 1 or by 135. So, 135 or 1. We must introduce the, the bigger value in the first coefficient. When can be actuate and be uh, as uh, or not actuate and we will be multiplied by 0 0.9. And finally, life love can be can actuate or not actuate, so we can put 0 or 1.5. This is in the case that are uh, unfavorable situation and this is for a favorable situation. Okay, now we have all defined in Combination Explorer, so just click uh, OK to save the changes. Now we are ready to solve the combination. We go to Solution and click Solve.
Well, now solution is done and have made the combination that we have defined previously. We can check the combination done in the solve, uh, solution information. Click solution information and we see the algebraic combination list. These are all the data sets that have been uh, solved. Uh, we see the data sets uh, uh, where it's located. So in solution we have the 15 data sets with uh, the combination and title that uh, are correspond and a coefficient and start state, start state that have been used. We can also uh, introduce a, a result like deformation. We can put deformation for all geometries, so all bodies. So if we evaluate in the last result set, we are going to see the deformation. We can go here and adjust. Okay. We can see the deformation of this one, this combination. We check which combination has been made. We can go to any combination and see the results. Maybe go to result set number 13 and plot these results. So this combination has been created with this result set that corresponds with this one, this combination. So you can always see uh, which combination uh, are referred to the result set. Finally, the last set properties of TBFN that we are going to introduce are the check and design properties. We are going to begin to introduce in the solution and uh, cell checking. We can click with right, right mouse button. Sorry, we can go here and create cell checking. And we have now the civil fence cell check. Uh, you can see the properties. Uh, we have uh, the display option can be average or in the elemental mean. The type that we want to do can be a check a design or can be evaluated the force and moments in cell. First, for example, we are going to see the force and moments. Uh, we have to select the result and we can see, for example, the bending moment in X direction. Here you can notice that we have X and Y direction and uh, it's important to know uh, which are these directions. We can check these values with the elemental uh, elemental axis. We have defined this uh, this orientation of the elemental in axis with the element orientation properties. We can go here. Let's put this one here and see the element orientation for the cells. So when we solve, we can also introduce coordinate system and elemental triads. In this case, if we now we, are, we can evaluate these all results and see what I mean. Now it's evaluating for all the for all the load cases or for all the data sets. And now we have the elemental trias that has been defined in concrete slabs that has the radial direction as x and y tangential direction. We can see here. And we can see also see the uh, civil fan cell check in the structural elements 
and here is the bending moment about the radial the radial uh, direction we can see also in tangential direction and evaluate for the different load cases okay so that's a uh, one of the type of of check properties that we can do is the force and moments of cells we can now we want to make the design of this structure so we are going to select design and select one result we can select the reinforced amount at uh, x top for example and we click evaluate all results Here we have the results of the reinforcement amount at x top per unit of length. It's important to, rem to remind that this result uh, corresponds to the 15 uh, result set. So if we want to do the envelope of result for all the for all the combinations, we can plot the result uh, displayed by maximum over the time. If we select maximum over the time, we will see the maximum reinforcement uh, result for uh, each uh, load step. So we can evaluate this value and we will uh, have the reinforcement of the uh, structure. Here we have the result. We are going to see quickly the other checks available in Fuel Fan. We can create a concrete beam check-in. In this case, um, we are going to select the bending plus axial check and uh, select the criterion as result. If we don't want to create the, the check for all the combination, we can say here in calculate time history option no. So uh, we are going to select the result in uh, one result set. It's a result set, and um, we want to make this this check for uh, this combination. So we go to this one and select the 14 we can evaluate the result of the civil fan concrete beam remember that we are going to check the beams in old model so here we have the criterion which is under one so we are okay Finally, the steel beam check-in that we are going to do. We have different methods of check. We can do tension, compression, bending, bending buckling, compression buckling, anyone. In this case, we are going to check bending plus shear plus axial force by Eurocode 3. We are going to select the result of global criterion as you can see we have a, a lot of intermediate results but we are going to focus on the criterion 
and now we are going to evaluate for all the combinations. We can evaluate and see the results in this B for different load cases. We can plot the maximum. Uh, we can plot here maximum over time. Evaluate. And see the maximum in in this in this case. If we want to to see which case uh, is uh, the maximum, we can plot with the time of maximum. If we plot time of maximum, we will see that the maximum value that is far away from the limit of one has been uh, in combination. We can go to results improve. Combination number 10 for the middle spam, 11 for this case. And we can always check the solution information to know which is the combination that produce the maximum criterion. We have seen the three, the three checks, the three uh, different checks and design that we can do for concrete self concrete bin and steel beams. Of course we have different different checks. We can say cracking, we can see different uh, out of plane shear. We can also for concrete uh, check for, for shear and torsion or for cracking and for steel beams a uh, lot of checks. We don't have time to uh, make a check for all these possibilities. But uh, finally, I would like to, to, to end this webinar with uh, the presentation of the products. We can go to the presentation and see the Civil Fern uh, ACT products. The commercial price, uh, here you can see that we have the application divide into the different uh, standard codes. Uh, uh, we have uh, an application for Euro code, uh, for steel and concrete check and design, for Americans and for nuclear code. Uh, these prices are for an annual list and is support in the latest version of ANSYS. Uh, with this uh, with this price, technical support, annual revisions, and service pack are included. We also have uh, uh, academic versions uh, for for teaching, uh, which include 25 uh, seats. And finally, also uh, research prices for uh, for this different. Uh, the different mm, codes. Well, this tool is available via ANSYS App Store, Civil Fan Support Distributor, and Civil Fan website. A new standard code or even a previous version of a standard can be added under order with customer commitment. Development team develops customized software for business on demand. If you are interested in an evaluation request, there is two ways to do that. Please fill out the survey after this webinar to request a version of seven days. And you can also request a trial version with evaluation user from the website of CivilFan. I can show you in CivilFan. Go to free trial version and evaluation request evaluation version and select the product you want to request. In this case, Civil Fan application for ANSYS warrants. Fill the rest of the form and submit. 
Well, thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day.